Alrighty, our next guest, uh, Sharon Powell, she's an artist and an educator. She was born and raised here in Chicago. She teaches women and gender studies courses at my alma mater, Columbia College. And she is also the director of the Chicago Area Health Education Center at Health and Medicine, Medicine Policy Research Group. Is she here? Come on down. All right, I'm gonna read because, you know, I'm trying to stay on seven minutes. <laughs> So of course it won't, okay, there we go. And see, I'm one of these people, take my glasses off so I can see what's close. All right, um, my parents taught me to love books. My father taught me that books can teach you anything you need or want to know. My mother taught me not to write in books or bend the pages. We are very serious about that. You do not damage books, books are sacred. We had a lot of books. Everyone in our family had books that belonged to them. I am a book nerd, okay, a book freak. Okay, I really love books. I'm a poet as well. I do not take on many labels, but poet and mother, I do. Okay, and militant, hippie, former seminarian, working class black girl. <laughs> Mostly this means I resist most things, see love as the answer to everything, though I hate everybody. and that I think about these things very deeply all the time. Note to this project, do not ask poets loaded questions like name a book that changed your life. <laughs> words mean everything. Change and transformation are two very important words to me. I use them everywhere. This assignment killed me. So this is not my favorite book, but a book that changes me. Okay, that'll shorten the list, LOL. Yeah, right, anyway. So a book that actually changed my life came to me through a song, sung by Sweet Honey and the Rock. Sweet Honey are some of my favorite musicians, an acapella group with rich, beautiful, unique arrangements for music and lyrics. This one was a poem or at least written by a poet, a philosopher. I'm not sure I knew that the first time I heard it. I just knew it was beautiful and meaningful to me. I was a young adult learning to be independent in all the kind of ways that you become independent from your parents, especially my mother, learning to disagree with them on major issues and still be okay. So the lines like, your children are not yours, you, cannot give, you can give them your love, but not your thoughts. They have their own thoughts. These lines brought me to tears, made me cry. This was before I had children of my own who changed my life. Robin Frederick, Maxi Mani. These are the ones who are with me, but do not belong to me. That is deep, people. <laughs> they bring me to tears, too make me cry, my pride in them, my fears for them, my love of them. Then I found the poem, or the piece, found the poet, later I would find the book. This book that changed my life is The Prophet by Cahill, or Khalil Gibran. On children is the poem, or the piece, the prose, the piece that transformed me. I quote it a lot, so it can change others the way it changed me and in new and different ways from me. I pass it along to other parents. All of us are struggling. My parents taught me to love books. My books are like my children. I buy extra copies of my favorites at garage sales, secondhand bookstores, wherever they're selling books for cheap. I buy the extra copies of my favorites so your feelings are not hurt when I say hell no to your request to borrow one. <laughs> I am just gonna give it to you so that I do not catch a case. <laughs> and if you have any of my missing Audre Lorde texts from the 80s or 90s, thanks in advance for their return. <laughs> my work is like a child to me as well. 
As a self-employed person and artist for most of my adult life, I need deep thoughts on this as well. On work is another gem from this book, The Prophet. As my children are now adults being independent and with their own fucking thoughts, <laughs> and I being on my 10th adolescence, I crack open this book for this event and find this wrinkled printed email to a friend of mine from 16 years ago. It was 16 years ago, it still had my AOL address on it. <laughs> it's still holding the page, proof of my sharing. From Gibran, work is love made visible. And if you cannot work with love, but only with distaste, it is better that you leave your work and sit at the gate of the temple and take alms of those who work with joy. A life's work and love can be found in books. I love books. Books are sacred. The Prophet by Cahill Gibran saved, I mean changed, my life. Thank you. Wow.